Welcome back guys. I am super excited for this video because I have a massive haul to share with you. All beauty related, but for the most part. I spent a thousand dollars, a little over a thousand dollars at Ulta yesterday. And I went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I'm so freaking excited to share it with you guys. I've never spent that much money on anything beauty related at once, which is insane, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you, and I hope you're excited too. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And with that being said, we're going to get into the video and we are going to start with the Ulta stuff. Okay, I am so, so excited. Like I said, I've never spent that type of money, that amount on anything makeup wise because I couldn't afford to and it was really nice to be able to do this and pick up stuff. Some of it's not new stuff, most of it actually, but it's stuff that I've seen like throughout the years like people try and I wanted to try but I couldn't afford to. So I think that alone is one of the reasons that this haul is so exciting for me. So let's start this out with something funny. Let's start it out with something funny. Okay, my hairdresser has been recommending me this Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. So I bought two of these. These are freaking expensive that's all i'm gonna say i'll have them linked down below if you guys want to check them out but okay a couple of years ago actually right before i started my channel i had almost waist length hair it was right right at my waist and i decided i wanted to get fall colors put into my hair at the time my hair was very light very blonde but i wanted to get fall colors and i wanted to get like ombre hair and I went and I paid so much money to get that done because I had to go back several times. And even though like when I went back, she fixed her problem, I still like hella tipped her because I'm a firm believer in you tip your hairdresser no matter what. And I tip, I'm a firm believer in you tip everyone. But anyways, um... She messed my hair up so bad, and throughout the last two years, I've gotten 18 or more inches of my hair cut off because she over-processed my hair and fried it so bad that it turned gummy. Well, my new hairdresser that's been doing my hair this last year, she has been trying to get me to buy this, but I didn't because it, it's very expensive, and... I said yesterday, because this is when I did this haul, what the hell, I'm going to buy it because my hair still is not fully recovered from what that hairdresser did. But you know what I did? I picked up two conditioners. I was like, because I had to wash my hair yesterday anyways, and I was in the shower and it says shampooing, and I just saw shampoo, so I grabbed two conditioners, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? But I do go condi through conditioner, like, really, really fast, so I put one down in my shower, and I just bought a freaking shampoo, and I'll just keep both conditioners, because, I mean, that's my fault, but I just thought it was really funny. The part about my hair getting fried is totally not funny. That sucks. I still miss my long hair so much. So we'll just go through the hair stuff real quick. I also got this Redken product. This is the Acidic Bonding Concentrate 5-Minute Liquid Mask. I'm super excited to have that too. And then I got this Redken Acidic Color Gloss Heat Protection Treatment. And I'm excited 
to try that too. It smells so good. All of it does. But before we move on to the other two hair products, one of my favorite perfumes in the world is this one by Way. And it's the Melrose Place one. I freaking love this so much. I've already went through a whole bottle of it. And I'm excited to have another one. But when I was over there looking at the perfume, I saw the hair oil. And I've been wanting to try this for quite a long time. So I'm really excited to have it. But I also saw this hair gloss. Like I told you, I'm on this whole hair journey but this is to protect color and treat damage. I'm super excited to have this one. Let's see. This conditioner, I should have told you what it said. It's intense conditioning, fortifying, optimized for color treated hair. So it's supposed to help like hair that's really damaged. And fingers crossed it does its job because I need it. I need all the help I can freaking get. So another perfume I picked up is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Wild. I love a lot of the Daisy perfumes. My favorite is Daisy Love. I love it so much. I love the bottles, but I smelled this one in store and it smells so freaking good. I got the 1.6 ounce. It's like the medium and look how freaking beautiful that is. I love it, but it smells so good. It's like very fresh. Oh, it's like there's a hint of grass or something. It just smells so freaking delicious. So excited to have this in my perfume collection. I love perfume so much. Okay, so I also picked up two bundles of hair ties. These are so soft too. I'm really excited to have more. Ooh, and I picked up these slim pins for putting your hair up in a bun. I used to wear my hair in a bun all the time, but I still like to off of camera, but I'm excited to have some of these. I've never tried them. I hope my hair's even long enough for them, honestly. I also picked up some Real Techniques applicators. I've been wanting to try this. Uh, it's a Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff Duo. And that's like one side for powder, one side for liquid. These have been out for a while, but I haven't got to try them yet. And I'm super excited. And I also got the little tiny baby ones for concealer. I can't wait to try them out. So this is a new, newer release. It's the Urban Decay Face Bond. I've heard a lot of people rave about this. I picked it up in the shade Fair Neutral, but I can't wait to try it and see what I think of it. The bottle is really, really cute, but I'm excited, I can't wait. But I might do a full face of makeup really soon because I have picked up a bunch of palettes too that I were older palettes that I didn't own that I wanted. So just let me know what you guys think of that. But either way, I'm gonna be using this stuff like off camera, a lot of it's face products too. So, one of my favorite things about this haul is I finally picked up a bunch of stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been wanting to try her brand for so freaking long, but it was more expensive for me to be able to pick up. So I wasn't able to, but I finally did. So I picked up the contour wand in the shade Fair Medium. And then I picked up the Beauty Wand, the Beauty Light Wand. It's a highlight blush duo in the shade Pink Gasm. I'm excited. I'll swatch these in just a second. And then I picked up the Pillow Talk Matte Blush Wand in the shade Peach Pop. And I'm excited for that too. If I drop these, I'm going to be real mad. <laughs> I have the worst habit of like throwing my makeup and dropping it. I love the packaging, but I've been wanting this one for a while. Let's see, turn it on. I like that it, ooh, the poof on it is really nice. And the color is really beautiful. I love that. This is the matte one. Okay, so this is the Pinkgasm Sunset. 
See, I almost dropped that one too. I'm so freaking tired. We were gone like all day yesterday and I didn't get home till like, well, I didn't go to bed till like almost three in the morning and then got up early to film. So I'm like so tired. I'm ready for bed. It's like nine o'clock, but oh, that one's so pretty. I had to get one of the highlighty ones because I love a shimmery blush. But I'm so excited that I finally get to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, so this is the contour wand. God, I can't tell you how much I wanted to pick these up for so long. And there's that one. That might be too dark for me. We'll have to see. No, not after it's um, blended out. But that's not all I got. I picked up the bronzer. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long. It's the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's smoothing, healthy looking glow. And it's infused with a bunch of skincare ingredients. I cannot wait to freaking put this on my face. I get some tweezers to help open it. Everybody is raved about this bronzer, especially Angelica. And honey, she is large and in charge. And what shade did I pick up? Fair. And it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. It's so beautiful. But this is a cream bronzer if you're not familiar with it already. But I'm sure everybody probably already is. I am late to the game. But I also picked up the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm so excited for this too. It's so pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. Like I could see myself in that. It'll be dirty in no time, I'm sure. And I picked this up in the shade number one, Fair. Because obviously I am really fair. Ooh, I want to use it so bad. Like now. Okay. So I also picked up a backup of my, precisely my brow from Benefit. I love this eyebrow pencil. And I run out of it all the time. And then I have to wait to buy another one before I can like do my brows with my favorite brow pencil anyway. So... I decided to get a backup, but I also wanted to repurchase the detailer. I really, really love this a lot, but it does go very fast if you use it throughout your whole brow. So my plan is to use my regular brow pencil on the back half of my brow, and I want to use the detailer in the front half. I think that could be really pretty. If you are one of my new newer subscribers, you probably wouldn't know, but my favorite lip liner like of all time are the ones from ABH. I really love the unearthly ones too, but these ones are still my favorite and I just dropped them in the floor. I've been wanting to pick up uh, new shades, but I also needed to replace my favorite, which is Muted Mauve. Is it not so freaking cute? It's so tiny. Like, look at the difference. It's so freaking tiny. It's so cute. I can't. But I'm excited to have another one. I might just keep this in my purse since it's like so little. It's getting hard to use. Like, the only way I can use it is if I put the cap on the end of it. But it's such a good one. It's such a good one. So, I also picked up Dusty Rose. And Baby Roses. I do have um, a few other shades. Like four other shades. Besides the Muted Mauve. So these are some that I didn't have. This one is Baby Roses. And that's going to be a really good shade on me. That might be like a really close to a My Lips But Better shade actually. Which I've been looking for. Been on the hunt. And then... This one is Dusty Roses. Ooh, that one's pretty too. It's the deeper one. It's really pretty. It 
super excited. Can't wait to try these out. Because of Angelica, I absolutely had to pick up this ABH Lip Velvet. I picked it up in the shade Peachy Nude, but she has been raving about these on her YouTube channel. And I wanted a light nude, so that is what I got. I'm excited to try this formula. It's one of those like moussey formulas, but that's a really pretty shade. It actually is like exact with baby roses. I'm super excited. I can't wait. Okay, we're almost done with the Yelta part, but I picked up one of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. I have actually never tried these. But I got the shade Chaos. I looked everywhere yesterday trying to find like neons and stuff. And I couldn't find any at Ulta. But this shade is really pretty. So freaking beautiful. But I've heard a lot of good things about the Urban Decay ones. I'm excited that I finally get to try them. But I also picked up another one from the NYX Epic Wear line. I love these freaking liners. And I did not have this shade. This is Emerald Cut. The only one I have right now is Cosmic Yellow. And I definitely want to get more. Now if I can only get the thing off without breaking my nails. This shade was really pretty too. Like, look at that. It's like grass green. Actually, that could have been really cool with this eye look today. And then I also picked up a duo lash glue. I love this lash glue. The one in the green box. It's my absolute favorite. My other one's starting to get a little like gummy. You know how they do? They do that really quickly, actually. But then I also picked up this uh like mascara duo from Benefit and it's called the Wild Caught Lashes and this is in the cutest freaking container it's like a sardine can I told Amanda I'm gonna give she can have the like box she loves containers of all kinds but this has two of my favorite mascaras and it's Manifest and Bad Gal Bang I can't remember uh how much I paid $40 for both of these which isn't bad at all but I love the bad gal bang especially for the lower lashes but I even like it on the top it's a very lengthening mascara but I love manifest too it's one of my absolute favorites I can't wait to be able to start using these again it's been a while and I've missed them I mean that kind of was a lot of stuff but it doesn't feel like it should be like over a thousand dollars, does it? That's crazy. Everything's so freaking high now in price, but I love the swatches of everything and I'm so excited to finally be getting to try like some of these brands and stuff that I've never tried before. Be sure to let me know down below if you have tried any of these products and what you guys think of them. I really would love to hear your thoughts on that. But now we're going to get to the TJ Maxx and Home Goods part of the video. So I wanted to get some more like storage stuff for around my desk area because I have like a stack of palettes I like need to use and like stuff that. I like, when I get it in, I try to keep it all off to itself so that I like don't like put it away and forget about it because I am very, very bad about that. Like I can't even put the produce in my refrigerator in a drawer because I will forget about it. But so I needed something for that and I decided to get this, which is really freaking big. And I paid $39 for it, but it's really thick acrylic. So I'm thinking I can use this bottom drawer for that stuff and then use these drawers for other stuff, like maybe even uh, like stuff for my camera and just stuff like that that I need to be like easily accessible at my desk. I'm super excited to have that. 
And I also picked this little thing up for like skincare and stuff. And I can keep stuff like at my desk. So I don't have to like do my skincare in a whole other room. And then like walk up here and forget to do it. And then be like, oh, forget it. Because I do that quite often. I also picked up this two pack of drying mats for the kitchen. I use these for my eyeshadow brushes because I use spot cleaner to clean my brushes and then I dry them off on this. Even if you don't have that spot cleaner, if you put one of these like in front of your space, this microfiber or whatever it is on this drying mat, it like cleans your brushes really, really well. So if you can't pick up spot cleaner or you don't like the spot cleaner and you just need something to like clean your brushes quickly, I highly recommend these. I picked up both of these for $8 because it is a two pack, but I love this. I love these. And these ones are really, really big. So I was like, heck yeah. So these I picked up at Walmart. I've not heard of either one of these, but this one is... The Sins of the Zodiac series, and it's the book Never Keep. I've never heard of either author, I mean author, and I had to really look for some books at Walmart because we don't have, like, a good bookstore by us, but I've read, like, almost all of them at Walmart, and I want to read some more, but they both sound really good. This one is... I thought this was a series too, but maybe not. Maybe not. But this is The 13th Child by Aaron Craig. And the cover looks so cute on this. You can see the skull and stuff. But the about sounds really good as well. So I actually bought uh, this really cute chair to go up here and like a side table. And I bought this blanket to go with it like go on it. I needed a space where I could like sit and edit that's not sitting at my desk because it hurts my back like sitting in this chair all day. But I like, you know, I wanted something comfortable. So I picked this blanket up to go. I got this one at TJ Maxx. It's so like stretchy and soft and comfortable. I have to carry that chair up here probably tomorrow and that's going to be a whole freaking task but i'm excited to show it to you guys and stuff once i film my room tour which should be coming up relatively soon but i'm really excited for you guys to see it so i desperately needed a new vanity mirror and preferably one that wasn't like too tall so it doesn't like black my camera and stuff so I picked up this one, which is really nice. I got this at TJ Maxx for $14 and it does have like the five times magnification, but I'm really excited that I found one. It's not like too tall, but it's taller than my old one that I had. So the hope is that in my videos, I won't be like looking down like this while I'm zoomed in because I don't. I hate it when I'm editing and like all you guys can see is my forehead while I'm talking. It's not a good look for me. So we're on the last little bit now, but I picked these up at TJ Maxx. They are the cutest tiny little gold hoops and studs. And I'm super excited to have these. Like they are hella tiny. They are six millimeters, eight millimeters, and 10 millimeters. I'm really excited to have these. I love tiny little earrings. I know they're not like trendy or whatever, but I don't really care. I like, I love them. So I also picked this up from TJ Maxx. This was $7, which is not bad at all, but it's actually a hair tool organizer, which I mean, seems nice and everything, but I actually bought this for my computer desk for like office supplies and I think it will work perfectly for that like I could fit all my stuff in here so I'm really excited to finally be getting some organization up here okay so hear me out I actually went to TJ Maxx before I went to Ulta and I didn't think clearly 
because I bought another mascara and it's the Can't Stop Staring from Gift Beauty. I love this mascara so much. The applicator is pokey, so you have to be careful with it. But if you don't mind all of that, it's a good mascara. It's a lengthening and lifting one, and I love it. And I also bought this before Ulta, which it's another moisture mask. This one is from Living Proof. I'm so excited to try this one out. This is the Maximum Frizz Control and Conditioning. And I paid like $19 for this, which for Living Proof is really affordable. But you know what? You can never have too many masks, like hair masks and stuff. So... I'm sure I will get to it at some point. I also picked up a MAC Fix Plus because, believe it or not, I've actually never tried it. And I've been wanting to for so long. This is the coconut scented one. But I'm excited to finally be trying one of these out. I've heard so many people, literally everyone on the internet rave about the setting spray for so freaking long but the last two things that i got was another pack of ardell wispies these are demi wispies i really love these i like to cut them down and like use them as a half lash but i'm thinking about trying some of the ones from angela bright i was trying to think i really want to try her half lashes but I also picked up the Real Technique like four-piece sponge set. I really needed some new ones really bad. So I saw them and decided to grab them. But that is it, guys. That is everything I have to share. We like went Halloween shopping yesterday and we bought so much stuff. So I actually like don't know what I spent at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, like just on the stuff I showed you here which is why I didn't give you a total for that stuff. But I am so freaking tired. I am ready to go to bed. But I am so excited to wake up tomorrow and hopefully have the opportunity to play with some of this stuff after I help Amanda with the Halloween stuff and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know it's a bit all over the place. But I am, like, so tired. I know you've heard me say that so many times. But I'm about to go eat dinner and then wait a little bit before I go to sleep and then go to bed. I, I really need to. But please let me know if you guys have tried any of this and what your thoughts are on it. What's your favorite store to shop at? Mine is definitely TJ Maxx and Home Goods, like, outside of makeup, you know, that area. I prefer to buy most of my makeup on online but it is nice to be able to go in store and swatch certain things i just prefer shopping online because i love indie brands and that's where most of my money goes and i love them so much so that's why i don't really go in like ulta or sephora very often when i do place an order it's usually online but i'm excited to hear what you guys think about this video and thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And until next time, bye.